common cryptocurrency scams is people getting approval inside your wallet. Major warning, your cryptos are not safe. So we all know you can easily get hacked if you store it on MetaMask and or Trust Wallet, these hot wallets. But now even cold storage, Ledger has proven to have major, major security compromises. So Ledger and Trezor are not safe. Do you know what to do? So this came out as a major red flag, guys. Just two days ago, Ledger, probably the most trusted way to store cryptos, according to many experts in this field, have basically come up with a new update. It's like, you know, it's like a little pudding or what do you call a, uh, a firmware. You update this software into your Ledger cold wallet. That's supposedly the safest way to store your crypto because you need both the passwords and the Ledger, right, to, to the physical item to open your wallet. But now they say, guess what? A lot of people forget their passwords in crypto. So now you can store it. You can store your passwords, break it up into three sections and store it with three independent right, service providers. Kind of like when you store your Apple key, you know, Apple chain password or whatever. Now just think about what that means. So this basically means that Ledger, the company, can extract your passwords electronically, electronically through your Ledger device if they want to. And what's worse, what's worse about all this, the company says it's an optionality, you can choose that option of storing your passwords with these three companies as third-party companies as a service. But think about this, but the, what breaches the trust that they lied to us all this time? See, they used to say back in 2012 that a firmware update, right, that you download cannot extract the private keys from the secure element. Now that's been proved to be decidedly false. This is one of the biggest own goals of all time in crypto, if not in all of finance, because what they're essentially admitting is that if you just download that software update, or even, even if you may not have to do that, you can basically send your password, your keys to a third party through the ledger, through the ledger hardware, right? So how is that safe? And get this, what's worse is that in order to prove that you own it, right? You have to register yourself with an ID, with a government ID, like your passport or your driver's license. Now think about that. If I wanted to show my driver's license and my ID and then store a part of my wealth in, in some, with some third party, I just go to a bank. What's the point of trusting crypto? You know, I thought I could just retire on a tropical island like this because, you know, I can put a portion of my net worth into a hardware wallet somewhere and everyone said it was safe and just store it there. But no, turns out it's all a clown show. What do you think we should do?